to make cupcakes, little doggy cupcakes. I'm going to show you the parts that you need first. For the ears, you're going to use miniature Tootsie Rolls. And these you put in the microwave for about 10 seconds and it'll soften right up. And then you just roll them out. And for each miniature Tootsie Roll, you'll be able to get two ears, approximately. So you're going to cut out an ear shape using a clean pair of scissors. For the nose, it's a black jelly bean. The eyes are miniature M&Ms. And the tongues, you can use a variety of things. You could use fruit roll-ups that you could just cut out, or taffy. You just cut out a tongue, like a teardrop shape, out of the taffy. You bend it in half and unfold it to get kind of the center line of the tongue, and then just give it a little bend, and there you go. Another alternative is to use starburst candies. You buy the uh, cherry or strawberry, the red kind, and then just put that in the microwave for about 10 seconds or so to soften it up. And you can roll it out with a rolling pin. And you can probably get two little doggy tongues out of one Starburst candy easily. So using an icing bag or a Ziploc bag that's had the corner cut off, you're going to apply the icing onto the cupcake. And you kind of want to put it on kind of roughly because you want it to look like fur instead of smoothing it on smoothly. So you coat your cupcake completely. Then you're going to take a marshmallow that's been cut in half and put it on the top. That's going to be the muzzle. And then cover the marshmallow with the icing completely. Again, you know, it doesn't have to be smooth because it is going to, supposed to look like fur. Then you apply the ears, just bend one end down and then put it on like that so that it looks like the ear is folded over. Then the nose, jelly bean, two brown M&Ms, miniature M&Ms for the eyes. Very cute, just like that even. And then you're going to put the tongue in, you just kind of insert it between the marshmallow and the cupcake, just so that it's nice and solid in there. And there you go. And now I'm just gonna show you quickly how to do this again. And then there's gonna be some photos at the end. I made these for my son's class because my son's birthday was coming up and he asked me to make cupcakes for his class. So here they are. What I found cute about these is that they all seem to have their own little personalities once you're done with them. I was actually pretty impressed how they turned out and it's actually quite easy to do. So give it a try. And here's a whole kennel's worth of them. Okay, first of all, I just want to thank Dan, who's just a vlogger, for my really cute intro. Thank you very much, Dan. And one other little note that I wanted to tell you about as well is that I made the cupcakes and brought them to school today. So they sat in the container, uh, plastic container overnight. Now what happened was the Tootsie Rolls, um, I guess because of all the moisture in the cupcakes and in the icing, the Tootsie Rolls started to get really sticky and started to melt. So I'll show you some pictures of what they look like. So I'm not going to say they were ruined, but I think that they're certainly not as cute as they were when, I, when they were freshly made. So I'm going to suggest that if you make the cupcakes overnight, you leave the ears off and you just put them on just before you serve them or just before you have to bring them somewhere. And that way they'll look perfect. Bye.